Hi everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. This week we are in Surfers Paradise on the Gold Coast of Australia, world famous and the first place we are going to is... We are going up the Q1. It has the highest viewing platform in the Gold Coast and it's got amazing views. Let's go. So here we are on top of Q1, we're in the Sky Point restaurant and the view from up here is super nice. You can see all the way down the beach, you can see all the Gold Coast waterways and it's a full 360 experience so you can walk around and see from Byron Bay all the way up to Brisbane and the Gold Coast hinterlands in between. So behind me you can see the views all the way down to Byron Bay in New South Wales and you can also see the mountain ranges and down here we have the canals. So those canals are actually designed similar to ones in Miami in Florida. So they're all man-made and there's properties very expensive there. You can go on boat tours that go around and it's really cool. So a lot of the properties on those canals, they have their own little jetties, so they have their own boats and then they can just drive around the canals and get to where they want to be. How cool is that? Imagine having your own little boat parked up. Um, but yeah, what a great place to be. When you get to the top of the Q1, you have the Sky Point restaurant and bar. Uh, the only problem is that at the moment they are not doing food a la carte. It, it comes out on like a, a high tea uh, tray and you can have uh, like a cooked breakfast, vegetarian or not. Uh, the problem with that is they don't really specify uh, if it's vegan or not. We asked them if they could do it, they can't. And there's no actual food up here, it's all cakes and stuff. Uh, they don't do anything like chips or anything like that, what we would normally get. So yeah, if you follow us for the vegan food recommendations, this isn't one of them. <laughs> but the views are very nice. I'm trying to show you guys the new building down the Gold Coast, it's called the Jewel. I don't think it's open yet, but there's a lot of hype around it. So those lights, it's like strips along the building, they light up at night time, so we really can't wait to see that one. Right, so we've come down now to Surfer's main town area. Um, we're trying to find somewhere to eat for breakfast. We're pretty hungry because we couldn't eat up in the Q1. We're here on a Sunday morning and it's, it's not exactly got much atmosphere. I think it's still, you no. know, the leftovers from last night. Surfer's is more a place where you go to party party in the evening, wake up at lunchtime and then you go out for breakfast. So. Uh, most places aren't really open this early in the morning. So for our day trip today to Surfers, we came super early from Brisbane and it's only about 7am here already, but it's already pretty busy. You have a lot of people on their morning coffee runs or going for all their daily runs and dog walks and just heaps of people walking along the beach, which is really nice. I can see why. But you've also got a few people uh, recovering from last night or maybe still enjoying last night. Uh, it's a bit of a party town in Surfers, so you can see that, but it's a very beautiful day, so excited to go out and explore. Right, we've given up on trying to find some nice vegan food in Surfers. We're actually going to go and get our car that's parked on the Esplanade and drive it down to a place called Cardamom Pod, which we know does fantastic vegan food. I'm not sure what they do for brekkie, but we'll go check it out and then we're going to come back up here for a dip in the water and a cool down because it's already so hot and it's only 9am. We have very full bellies now, we're very happy and we're about to go onto the beach. Uh, we're going to have a little cool down and a, maybe a little nap. but. We've come further north of Surfers to Main Beach and it's busy. We've got a new picnic blanket. It's very big. All right, so now we're spending the afternoon at Main Beach, which is oh, just north of Surfers. And as you can see, it's quite windy here. Um, it tends to be the case here on these coastal beaches because they're not very sheltered. Uh, so the wind sort of rushes all down the beach. And if you look down there, you can see there's massive sandstorms going on. Okay, we've just got to the last destination on our hit list for our Surfers Paradise 
vlog, but the Spit Master Plan implementation program is occurring right now, and that means that we can't go to the Spit and show you the viewpoint of the Gold Coast from the Spit. Um, there is no pedestrian access. So uh, that's that's it from us. We will see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment and go check out our Instagram and TikTok because we're now on there. See you then, guys. Bye.